Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Apex MTXRC single cylinder long hose regulator set. So this is a complete regulator set. All you need to do is add a BCD hose and something for your dry suit if you're diving with a dry suit, but this is specifically made for a kind of a DIR style setup where you have one long hose primary and then one short hose that goes around your neck. Comes with a submersible pressure gauge as well, rubber hoses, everything that you need is gonna be inside of this. Lots of little uh, sort of extra bits and bobs. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is how they arrive. A uh, nice big cardboard box, uh, so eco-friendly. Uh, we got serial numbers on the sides, uh, some information about uh, how environmental Apex is, and that's about it. So let's have a look and see what's inside of the box. So inside of the box, you get the MTXR bag. So this is exclusive to, or actually I think it's exclusive to the MTXRC. Um, so if I get that out, we got some information about, uh, so regulator quick reference guide, how to change the, uh, the exhaust tees and uh, the same thing in different languages. Uh, so yeah, just have a quick, quick look at that. And that's it. So looking at the bag itself, so um, so yeah, this is exclusive to the MTX RC. You can see it's got Velcro patches on it. It's got uh, sort of Apex underneath that, which is pretty uh, sort of pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, you can Velcro that wherever you so wish. A little bit of uh, sort of molly going on here, so you can attach things onto the outside to make this a real uh, sort of practical bag um, if you don't want to use it as a regulator bag. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty nice bag in itself. Grab handle at the top. You do have a, a shoulder strap that I'll show you in a second. Uh, it feels padded on the underside and on the side so it's keeping your regulators safe. Uh, double pinch clip release, so it keeps your regulators secure on the inside. Here's your shoulder strap. Um, you can remove that if you don't want to. Um, this section, it kind of slides around and this is kind of um, like rubberized. So it's kind of a little bit grippy, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can adjust that as well to different lengths. Um, Underneath here, we have a small section. So this is making it more of a sort of a messenger bag. So you can uh, sort of use this day to day or you can use it as a uh, regulator bag. Keep sort of spares and tools and stuff or documents, whatever you want. Uh, on the inside, there's, there's a lot of bits and bobs. So we have a uh, bungee cord instruction sheets, uh, mouthpiece clip, bungee connector. So that's probably going to be your um, your bungee necklace. How to uh, sort of attach the uh, one of the second stages to a bungee necklace. We have two 75 mil bolt snaps, three O-rings, uh, mouthpiece clip, uh, small exhaust, uh, sort of two small exhausts and two large um, uh, exhausts. So left and right handed. Um, and then we have the regulators themselves. So if I just show you these quick, open these up. Okay, yeah, so there's your mouthpiece clip. So that kind of goes between the mouthpiece and the second stage, uh, sort of just in front of your lips. Uh, and then you have this bungee and that bungee basically sort of loops around and that sort of attaches the uh, your backup second stage. So it's nice and neat around your neck. So they go in that little box. Uh, slightly bigger box is more of the, uh, the hardware and accessories. Okay, so they feel like O-rings inside of there. They're actually sealed, so I'm not gonna rip that. They're just O-rings. Uh, a couple cable ties, and then the, the smaller, uh, sort of more sort of neater exhaust tees. Uh, so two, two of those, so if you wanna swap over the, uh, the long ones, uh, and then two 75 millimeter stainless steel uh, bolt snaps. Yeah. Okay, so onto the main event. get your regulators in a cardboard cutout. So we have two NTXRC sort of primary second stages, uh, a couple hoses, you get the long 2.1 meter long hose, the rubber hose, and then the shorter uh, hose, or sorry, two of those. 
Um, so one high pressure and then one for your, uh, your second stage. MGXRC Velcro uh, sort of patch, you can put that on the front. You get a single MTXRC first stage. I'll show you that in uh, sort of greater detail in a second. And then this will be your pressure gauge, submersible pressure gauge with a, uh, ooh, a little swivel pin. So this is the black faced gauge as well. So uh, if you're diving in low light conditions and you have to shine a torch on it, it's not gonna glare and blind you. Uh, the main needle itself and the details around it, they are glow in the dark. So if you shine your torch on them, they'll continue to glow. Uh, but this is the uh, so the brass and glass. So it's nice and strong and nice and accurate. Um, so yeah, that's, that's everything that you get with it. Let's take a closer look at the regulators themselves. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the um, the big parts of this. Um, so I've I've only got the uh, the MTXRC second stage and the uh, the first stage here. The hoses they're all rubber hoses, so they're all pretty standard, uh, and they're all standard lengths for a single cylinder DIR setup. So you can have a long hose primary donate setup. Um, you've seen all the uh, the extra little bits. So let's sort of focus on these two. So first of all, we got the uh, the first stage. I've quickly removed the uh, this sort of protective cap, so you can leave that on, um, and that is just a uh, sort of a sort of a rubbery cap just to uh, sort of protect that fifth port. Um, but if you do want a, a DIR setup, then it's often quite handy to use this. So you just uh, sort of pop that off. All it does is just sort of holds onto this uh, sort of final heat sink fin. Um, but you don't need any tools. You can just pop it off um, with your thumb. And then underneath that, yeah, you have a low pressure port. So uh, sort of unscrew that. This uh, unusually comes with all of the um, the low pressure ports plugged. Normally, when you have first stages, you usually have one that just has a a, a blank. Um, because if you fit that to a cylinder and pressurized it, there'd be no way that you could get that off. Um, without uh, sort of damaging something. Um, so do be very careful of that, obviously. Um, Five port swivel turrets, so you have five low pressure ports, the fifth one is on the tip, and then you have this rotating turret around the top, and then you have four of those low pressure ports, so you can pick and choose uh, sort of where things go. That just allows for a little bit of movement, a little bit of flexibility, and uh, sort of neater hose routing, whether you're fitting it to a, a single cylinder or you're fitting it wherever. Um, Further down, you'll see that most of the body of this uh, of this first stage, they have these kind of heat sink fins. So this is basically whenever you're uh, putting a lot of high pressure gas through a valve to a low pressure, it gets cold. So to prevent it from freezing up, we have these heat sinks um, and they basically just sort of dissipate that cold. They sort of absorb the heat from the surrounding water to, um, to sort of keep your first stage from freezing over. You also have this rubberized end cap. So this is again, helping it prevent ice from forming over the top of it. This is an environmental seal, uh, but the Apex logo is kind of squidgy. So that allows for the balancing of the of the first stage um, without allowing any contaminants or ice from getting on the inside. Two high pressure ports, and you can see these are slightly angled downwards. So this is when you're mounting it onto a cylinder. It just points it away from the shoulder so that hose can route a little bit neater. Um, this is in the, uh, the DIN configuration and you get a little DIN dust cap that actually has a spare O-ring just around here. That's often a handy little uh, tip. So you always have a spare with you. And it also has a lanyard loop if you want to keep it attached, um, you can use that. But that just protects the uh, thread and the o-ring um, and just sort of keeps dust out then we go down to the second stage so we get two of these uh, so i've only brought one up to show you because they're both exactly the same and as soon as the hose comes in it's met by another heat sink so again we have another valve in here that's going to get cold this big sort of chunks of, uh, of metal are going to help prevent that from um, uh, from freezing over and then we get to the front cover of the second stage. So you have this overmolded rubberized section, um, and that's quite a good sort of chunky uh, protective outer um, sort of section on that corner. Metalized front cover, again, another bit of a heat sink, but it also adds a bit of strength and rigidity. The purge button on the front, very easy to find, and a nice sort of positive action in that. So even if you're wearing big clunky gloves, you'll still be able to use that. 
both breathing adjustment and venturi on this so you can uh, sort of prevent it from free flowing especially if it's your alternate the one around your neck um, then it's less likely to free flow when it's around your neck but you also have this big metallic uh, breathing adjustment knob which isn't present on the MTXR. it's only on the rc um, big crenellated metal section and it's got some kind of cross hatching on it as well so again if you've got big heavy gloves you can still use that really easily and it's very easy to find mouthpiece itself this is apex comfo bite mouthpiece so you have this kind of ridge over the top and that just means that it kind of holds itself in your mouth without having to bite down on it. It's, uh, it kind of cradles the back of your teeth and kind of holds the, the mouthpiece in your mouth. So you're less likely to get jaw fatigue. The mouthpiece is also fairly short as well, so it doesn't go all the way back to the back of your jaw and make you gag if you suffer from that. And um, yeah, it is, it's a very comfortable mouthpiece, um, but yeah, you can swap that over if you so wish. The exhaust tee, so this is the larger exhaust tee compared to the shorter ones that I showed you earlier. If you press the uh, the Apex logo in the center, these just slide out so you can replace them. Uh, and then just underneath that, you have that exhaust mushroom valve. Um, but you do need that exhaust tee just to keep the bubbles a little bit away from your face. These ones, the uh, the larger ones, they do send them a little bit further away. Uh, so for photographers as well, they, they just send the bubbles a bit further away uh, so they're not coming up in front of your face. Uh, but all in all, yeah, a really tough first and second stage. Okay, so let's review the MTX-RC in the sort of long hose configuration. Um, so first of all, who is this designed for? So this is made to be a tough regulator that can go anywhere, do anything. It's It has its uh, sort of genealogy, its, its sort of history from the MTX, which is the military regulator, which is made for like Arctic diving under ice, very simple, very strong regulator that just could go anywhere, would never fail. Um, they've made the RC, which is the more sort of recreational, uh, adjustable set. And um, yeah, it, it's a tough regulator, um, but in the, it, it's more for colder uh, waters. That's where it really sort of excels. It'll still do the warm water stuff easily, um, but it can do that really cold, cold water sort of exploration style diving. So first of all, we're looking at performance. Five out of five, this is actually a, a really nice breathe and because you can adjust it, that was the main problem with the, uh, the MTXR in that it still, it didn't have that adjustability. So divers found it was a pretty stiff breathe, um, but that's what you need for cold waters. And because it wasn't adjustable, um, some divers didn't like it. Uh, personally, I never found it a problem, but um, now that we have that adjustability, yeah, it is fine. And it's a very premium breathe, nice and smooth. Uh, you've got that Ventura as well, so you have full control uh, with the exhaust tees as well. You can swap those out, so yeah, wonderful. Um, then we're getting onto the weight. So the weight is where the, uh, the MTXR sort of falls down. If you're a traveling diver and you want a really lightweight set of regulators, these probably aren't for you. They're not the heaviest regulator out there. Um, I do know of heavier regulators, but these are in no way light, but they're not meant to be. They're meant to be cold water regulators. So I've given them four out of five because the 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 overall weight of the set wasn't really uh, sort of in their sort of their mindset when they were designing it. They were designing a regulator that could go for colder water, so it's not going to be light, um, but it's not ridiculously heavy neither. So yeah, four out of five is uh, is an easy score. As far as features, five out of five. The regulator bag that it comes with is uh, is wonderful. A lot of regulators don't even come with a bag full stop, let alone a bag that has all sorts of uh, sort of funky details to it that you can use as a proper messenger bag as well. Um, comes with everything and uh, all the sort of the extra bits that you need. Uh, a lot of regulators and uh, sort of sets, you'd have to buy all the individual parts. You then have to buy the, the necklace. You then have to buy the, the bolt snaps and all the extra bits and bobs. Whereas Opex, they, they put it all together all in one thing. Which So five out of five. As far as cost goes, um, yeah, they're 
it's a complete regulator set, but it's a premium regulator set. Um, but you do get a lot of stuff with it. So five out of five again. Um, if it didn't come with the bag, if it didn't come with the uh, the extras and that kind of stuff, then yeah, it, it would be uh, so a little much. But actually, no. For for what you're getting, you're getting a very nice regulator that can kind of go anywhere that you want it to. Um, I'd be happy traveling with this. I mean, you just don't carry as many flip-flops in your bag or something but yeah it, for diving at home yeah this would be a wonderful regulator um and in like any time of year any conditions so yeah it's a wonderful regulator um so yeah if you do dive in those uh, sort of conditions i think i gave this nine and a half out of ten it's it's pretty much perfect uh it could be a little bit lighter that would be the only thing but pff, hey if weight isn't really an issue for your regulators uh then yeah give it 10 out of 10 it's it's a cracking regulator and it's in that dir style setup so it's uh it's a more advanced kind of design instead of a, a long hose octo you have that long hose primary so if you're looking to get into that style of diving then this is a great place to start and then it's very easy to switch up to twins as well. You just buy another first stage and you're pretty much good to go. Definitely worth checking out. It's a great stepping point to move into more advanced diving. Um, yeah, great regulator. Okay guys, so that's the Apex MTX RC long hose single cylinder set, a complete set that has pretty much everything that you need to get a complete regulator set that can go pretty much anywhere and dive wherever you need it to, both in the coldest of cold and in warmer waters. It is a little bit heavy, but oh, hey, that's that kind of sacrifice for that cold water performance. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, there's going to be more information on our website, simply scuba.com. There's going to be a link down in the description below so you can find that. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.